Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Nasty Mass Daddy giving you my take on Eddie Mattis, The Ghost of Maple Creek, developed, published by uh, Artifacts Monday. Appreciate the love. See the credits here, real quick. Producer, producer, yeah, love y'all, love y'all. Go to main menu. All right, this is a point and click adventure. Uh, the achievements are really easy. So, like, if you start a new game, you should, you should, uh, you unlock the second thing here, the Ghost of the Past. That's the bonus chapter. You have to play that for an achievement. And all the achievements are really easy, so you can just play on expert mode and you'll pretty much probably get them all. I mean, I can't see you really missing any of them. Uh, yeah, there's not much to the achievements. And for the game itself, it's a point-and-click adventure. It's kind of like their past games that they've done on the Xbox One. They have, I think they've done two, two or, or two or three, I want to say. And they've done, I know I played a couple of them last year. Uh, they're, they're fun games. Uh, if you like point and click, if you like trying to figure stuff out, uh, it's a very fun game. Also, they give you hints and stuff. Uh, there's two modes here. You got regular and you got expert mode. Regular mode, active areas indicated, hidden objects seem to indicate, everything's indicated, available actions shown on a map. I never even used a map when I played regular mode, so I didn't play expert mode yet, which you have to do for an achievement. Just play through on expert mode. I played through on regular mode. So let me uh, load up expert mode here. to me one minute I was and now now my heart is beating in my ears like hummingbird wings and my hands are shaking and covered in blood it's not the cold that's sending shivers down my spine it's what just happened an event I have no memory of the story's kind of interesting, so uh, you, could, you could follow along with that. With Like most point-and-click adventure games, uh, there's really not much to it. There's a, Well, I mean, there's a lot to read and stuff if you really, really want to get into the... If you really want to get into the story. I am playing on Xbox One, and this is available now on Xbox One. A missing girl. And I'd already started the investigation when... When what? Wait, my notebook. I was renting a room here. Basically, you're a detective. All the evidence I've you, you wake up in this town, and you, you kind of have to like retrace your steps and figure out why you're here and what, what you have to do. As always, you want to interact with everything you can. So, like, you always want to move around the screen and see if you can interact with anything. There's nothing here. Uh, the controls are simple. You know, you're just moving around, holding A. So, there's really nothing really to review about the controls. Let's wake up, wake up, walk up. And here's here's what I'm talking about for one of the hidden scenes. And if, like, on expert mode, when you when you click too much, you get that little you get that little uh, dizzy thing. So you can't just on normal you can just click randomly like crazy. But on expert, you can't. We well, have to find the stuff on the bottom there. There's the briefs. There's the bra. I have no clue where this. Is that the stamp? Angel head cross. There's the stamp. All right. Uh, crossword puzzle. Stockings. Or the hell is the angel head? I think I had problems with the angel head before. Angel head. I get a hint. Screw it. Also, you can use the hint. You don't want to use that hint though. What I just did there. If you use that, it'll avoid achievement. So don't like whenever you're, whenever you're in the puzzle. Like whenever you're in a hidden objects like that, or you're in a puzzle. If you use a, if you use a hint or you skip it, you avoid an achievement. So you don't want to do that. I don't have anything to use here. So, walk up to here. I don't think I can... Yeah, I can't do anything here yet. Oh, wait. Hold on. I, I had an angel head. I could put the angel head in there. And then you have to figure out where it looks right here. That opens up that, so I can grab that. See if I want to... Oh, I can't skip it yet, because... Of that. But you have to match them up. Just you gotta match them up. So that matches up to that. That one matches up already. Where's the hands going up to the face? There we go. All right. Um, where's the line coming down? 
green, 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 green. I think that's right there. That's there. That's not right. That's not right either. Where's the green at? Where's the other green at? Oh, down here. I didn't even see that one. Is that not right? Which one's not right? These two. They lock in when they're right. Okay. Yeah, I need to... I can't do this one yet. I can't finish it off because I'm missing a piece here. I have to find the other... I have to find the other angel head. Pretty sure. Okay. Now let's, uh... Let's go up to the car. Like I said, this is basically the whole game. I'm not going to go too much far farther into it. Yeah, it's... You got your battery here. This is for later. You can't use anything here now. Get the key. Nothing but static. The radio must be broken. I just want to make sure you're getting. You always want to make sure you're getting the hints too, because uh, eventually you're gonna have to come to the this the evidence, and you're gonna have to place the things in the evidence. Once you have enough, it'll, it'll expert. But yeah, I don't know. It should. I got the key, so I can use that in the trunk now. What do we got here? There's a lot of these in this game. Bolt cutters. Oh no, I clicked too much. Boo! What the hell am I looking for here, man? I can't find nothing. Bullet scales. I'm just failing miserably. There's a wrench. I need that. Alright, what do I need? Bullet scales and a croissant. There's the croissant. The bullets? Scales. Scales, scales, scales. I will find you. Or I'll just click wildly and hopefully I hit it. Wow. Out here? Use the hint. Oh, it was a pi it's a pi it's a it was a picture on there on the front of that cover. Oh shoot, I'm missing a ruler and a pen. I didn't even realize that. Ruler pen. Uh ruler. No. There's a spring out there for some reason. There's a disc. Ruler and a pen. Uh, you can let your hint charge up. The hint takes 60 seconds on expert to charge it up. Overall, I would say uh, pick this game up. It's a fun It's a fun little game. Uh, if you like point and click, that is. Point and click. I love point and click games. Love trying to figure stuff out. I love... It, it's like brain... It's like a brain teaser, you know? Brain tester. I like testing my brain out, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's nice to have a brain bender. Ah, uh, okay. I didn't know I could open that. Is there a ruler in there? I clicked on the ruler. Eh, sometimes it doesn't register that you clicked on it. Uh, I got the bolt cutters now, so now the bolt cutters I can use back here to get in into here. Chop, chop, chop. Now we are in the house. All right, guys. Well, that's all I'm going to give you. I'm not going to go any farther. I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. But as a review, I'd say I'd give this game... But probably about, I'd probably give it a... For what it is, point and click. Uh, I'd give it a... Probably a 6 out of 10. Maybe a 7 out of 10. 6 out of 10, probably, though. But uh, like I said, it's got easy achievements. So if you're into achievements, definitely definitely pick it up. If you're not, you may want to wait for a sale or... But, you know, point and click, you know. It's fun. I enjoy it. Like I said, it's a brain tester, you know what I'm saying? It's got good good graphics. There's no graphic clipping or nothing like that. Uh, it's, it's, it's got a little a little cool story to it. So, uh, yeah, guys, Nasty Master Dice saying peace out. And don't